It's time now for an update on the Mozambican economy. And joining us for that is Gildo Masulkhane, who's of Barclays Bank of Mozambique. Thanks so much, Gildo, for joining us uh, this morning. Let's get straight into a look at the Mozambican economy right now. Things really seeming to be uh, staying buoyant after expanding by, what, an estimated 7.4% in 2012. What's your outlook for the 2013 period? Uh, thank you very much uh, for having me once again on the call. Uh, in terms of economic activity, one may say that the uh, Mozambican economy continues to gain support of the coal industry. Uh, if you look at the data reported for the third quarter 2012, indicates that the economy grew uh, in real terms by 6.8, uh, and then we expect this to continue uh, this year, uh, of course, on the back of the good uh, projections on the, on the coal uh, exports. So we, we, from this side, we will continue to, to, to wait a lot of uh, dynamism of the coal sector and the tickle down effect as well. So uh, in line with the government expectation of the 80,4% 80, for this year, uh, we, are also, we are also convinced that uh, uh, the economy might go, may exceed uh, that rate. So uh, our projections is as far as what government uh, is saying on an 8.4% on the back of the, of, the, of the performance of the coal industry. To what extent is it a concern for you that the kind of growth we are seeing is driven primarily by the minerals boom and investment in the gas sector, so that resources are focused specifically, because that uh, to an extent does bring sustainability of this trend uh, into question? Yeah, uh, you're very right uh, on that, uh, in particular if you with, the, the, with uh, the challenge in terms of infrastructure. And the other question that we might raise that we will have the trickle down effect in the economy as soon as we expect it. Uh, this, this is a challenge that government should actually uh, take into account. And uh, we also expect that the, the small and the medium enterprises to benefit from that boom. Uh, and, and I think we have seen uh, some reports on the media that um, there's some uh, uh, small uh, medium enterprise in Tet that are benefiting from the project like the likes of Valley. So uh, in my opinion, I believe that uh, the soon uh, the tickle down effect uh, occurs uh, from that uh, coal production, which actually will contribute to the economic development of Mozambique. So of course it is a challenge and the government should actually address it seriously. Taking a look at the inflationary scenario in that context, uh, run us through expectations there because Mozambique po posted double digit inflation of 12.43% uh, and 11.17% respectively, uh, you know, over the, uh, the 2010 and 2011 periods. Uh, what's your outlook moving forward, Agilda? Uh, uh, in 2012, uh, if you may note that uh, we experienced uh, very historically low uh, inflation levels, okay? Uh, which uh, was supported by the lower price environment, and uh, again, it's the, the government expectation of 5.6%. Uh, so for the 2018, we we also expect the inflation not to 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 to, to reach levels above uh, above 75%. Uh, we hope that uh, um, uh, the, the 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 project uh, may. Uh, impact positively on, on the price uh, environment in Mozambique. So my expectation is that uh, we will not reach to exceed what the government is expecting on 7.5%.